We're going to band some uh, chicks, some young kestrels that are almost three weeks old. So they should be uh, formed enough that we can put the band on their leg. You have to wait till their leg gets big enough. But they're young enough that we can put them back in the nest box and they'll stay. That's the important part. And we should be able to tell the male from the female. Uh, the males have blue on the wing, and that's what we'll be looking for. And the females are bigger. That should be obvious, too. And I think I got everything we need. We're set to go climb. Falcons kill with their beaks. I'd banned a lot of raptors, and uh, a lot of them kill with their talons. The, the hallux is that, that back one. A red tail will grab their prey and drive that back talon through the prey, and that's how they kill it. Falcons like to bite. They've got a notch in their upper mandible. They break the neck of their prey. So that's how they kill. So you don't worry too much about the kestrels footing you, although they will, but they like to bite. So even if you get a good hold of their feet, the kestrels reach down and bite you. A red tail doesn't do that. Once you get a hold of a red tail's legs, you're safe. I mean, if you stick your finger in its face, it'll bite you. But a kestrel will go out of its way to bite you, because that's what they do. I'm guessing it's instinctive, and they're going to do it to us. They're going to do it to George. Looks good. <laughs> All right, well, you can hear me, right? So we got to go up and get the chicks out of the nest box. You're probably going to have to get a foot up onto here, don't we? Yeah, this is where you just stand up here. We're only probably going to have one person up there. Yeah, I think one at a time, so. Yep. I don't know. Well. I can get up on there. I feel like I'm close to this well, you, you, come, you got more room to put the ladder higher don't you let's do that They're in here. So close that up. Tie the string around the edge. Yep. And then just hang it over your neck. They're being very docile. They're not trying to bite me or anything. I'm going to put you in charge of them. All right, so what I did was I grabbed the two chicks out, just reached in and grabbed them. It should show up on the video camera, I guess, from the nest webcam, yeah, but they just sat in the corner. I just reached in and grabbed them, put them in the bag, and now George has got them around his neck. I got the egg for you, too. And we'll come back down. I don't see any of the parents bothering us. She's not happy, but she's not coming close, which is okay. All right, so do you want to adjust the webcam now, or should we do it later? We'll want Tim to hold the ladder for you, too, if you climb back up. Uh, we got a, the other egg, and that... That's been sitting in there for almost three weeks, but never hatched. It looks like it's got a crack in it. Right. Yeah, a hole in it. Definitely does, yeah. Ash. Oh, actually, let me. So you have to keep track of this band. This number. Yeah. Let me let me just so check that, check the right? leg first. Let me oh. check the leg first, because I. Don't know. Kestrels almost always take a size three B. But you know it wouldn't hurt. Just to check the little leg. Do we have enough light in here for pictures? We could walk outside too. Well, yeah, this one's biting me, see? Yep, do you hear it, Sam? See, you're biting me. So this is a leg gauge that we always try to check. See, a three would be awfully tight. Three B is gonna be good. So a size three B is the right size, which it should be. So did you get the number? 
So I always hold these Kestrels standard banders grip. They can't really get me right now. Now an, an adult would be reaching down and biting me right now. Looks like a female. Yeah, so the, the males will have blue up in here. I'm not seeing any blue. You can see all the pin feathers, it's growing out. Is he dead? He's not dead. <laughs> Very much alive. Just a scared little kestrel chick. Can I hold him? Mm, nope. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta be this tall to hold him. <laughs> all right, so you got the band number. I already opened it. All right. You ready? Pardon? A-M-K-E. A-M-K-E. Uh, Four-letter prefix, A-M-K-E, American Kestrel. Um, so each band has a unique nine-digit number. And we have special pliers to close them down for just that size. So you can band them tight without over-crimping them. If you get them too tight, they'll overlap. And that wouldn't be good for the bird. The 26th. All right, so that band went on about perfect. They're tight. You don't want a gap in there. Um, important. The reason you wait till the bird is old like this is now it won't slide down over the foot. Right? So we're in good shape. We usually would take a wing cord measurement. I, I don't. See, I got a ruler, but there's no there's no feathers. See, that's one of the standard measurements is the length of the wing feather here, but uh, they're just growing in. It doesn't make much sense. It wouldn't hurt to mass them. No. Let's take the weight. Put we'll turn turn this. You know, we'll put it back. Um, oh yeah, we could do it that way. Put that on there. Just put it right on. And it'll zero with this on there. We uh, catch kestrels adults. We put them in a can because it calms them down. An adult kestrel would be very aggressive but trying to bite me right now, and uh, it would be succeeding on that too. So I've got, oh, I'm on the wrong units. It's 4.4, .4, but that's not grams. So one twenty six grams. Now the can's already subtracted. I think. We did this one at zero. Okay, so it's gonna be zero. Well I'll take off two more. So one twenty four. Crop? No, there's no I'm not gonna bother. We're done with this. Um, Age, age is L, and based on the plumage, I'd call it a female. I'm not seeing any blue on here at all. I don't know if I necessarily would, though. Well, you'd be able to tell with the other one, too. The, their backs, their higher backs are also. What, what you want to see is um, these coverts, the wing coverts right in here, turn blue on an adult. And... Uh, if the other one has blue on it, then we'll know it's a male and we'll know this one is a female. But did you get good pictures? Turn, turn it Kim. We want some nice close-ups here. Now let's take it outside and get a picture, then I'll put it back in the bag. George, come over here. When you, when you hold birds, I always say you hold them by the drumsticks. If you hold them down here, you can actually break their legs. But if you just pinch them like this, up on the drumsticks, right, like in that. Right, then come out here, we can get some photos in a, in a nice light. And um, we, we do bird adoptions. We might try to give this up for an adoption. Uh, Braddock Bay Raptor Research adopts the birds out. People, I don't know what a kestrel costs. It's a way of raising money for us. And then we tell the people if they've adopted it and we get a return on it, someone recaptures it or finds it later on, we'll uh, keep a good report on it. Move your other hand away. Yeah. I can't you want it like this, just yeah, like that. Can you get it? That's a good one. Yeah, that's good. 
All right, put them back in the bag. Let's get the other one out. Should just be in sequence. We always check to make sure they're in sequence. Uh, sometimes they get lost, you know. Or occasionally you get a string of bands that's really just missing one. This bird feels a little smaller. Yes, you know, there's definitely blue on this one. Yep. Right? So I wasn't seeing that bluish on the other one. So this is the male, that one was the female. If you get it out here in the sun, you'll get a better picture. Yeah. See how the wing feathers are more bluish? Where the other one was just brown. Now this was, that was, I was looking up here, but I didn't see any brown, blue on that one. So this is the male. Pretty bird. Pretty little. Let's get the band on. Yeah, see, I think a three would still be tight on this. Yeah, you want it to move Three B is good. Yep, okay. three B is good. Want a picture of me doing this? You shouldn't. Sometimes the males, actually, sometimes I will put a three on the males, but a 3B is always a safe bet, and that'll be fine here. You want to band this one? No, do you want George to do it? Yeah, I hate to have George practice on a chick. I do want George to do this, but I want him to do an adult, because sometimes the birds are moving, and uh, if the band doesn't go on just right, sometimes you have to play with it. I don't want to do that with a chick. I myself sometimes have to, oops, I don't like the way it went on, fool around with it. I just don't want to do that with a baby. So we'll put a mass on this one. Again, there's really no reason to get the wing cord. Uh, should weigh less. B males are smaller. That's how it is in a raptor world. In the songbird world, the females are smaller. Look at cardinals. 116. Okay. So just a little bit less. You don't have to subtract. No, because you shouldn't have to. That was I teared it with the can on there. It should be okay. Well, that's interesting. No, that's not zero. All right, so pictures of this one. All right, George. What I'm trying to do is, if you can, you can just hold it with one hand, sort of like that. See how I'm doing that? And that'll make a nice picture. You get some of the fuzz off it. So get your fingers in it. Take your. There you go. Just like that. And keep your thumb underneath. Your thumb should be underneath here, this part of it. See, now you've got to you sort of pinch the legs, I should have, just mm -hmm. like that. Yep. So it can't go anywhere. It's actually called a photographer's grip. Come outside, you get better light. You ready for him? Mom's here. Don't need the bag anymore. We'll let that go. Move up one more wrong. All right. We got one back in. Put my hand around here and grab it. Am I in your face there, George? All right. You can have the bag. I just throw it on the ground, maybe. That one back in. Birds are good. This hook is good. Yeah, we're good. All right, we're done. <laughs>